challenges we faced were having the flexibility to meet the students needs and demountable wall system seemed to be the solution to that problem but then choosing the right demountable wall system to meet our needs to have the flexibility and to look good was one of the reasons we chose to go with the dirt system. The durability, the acoustics were also very important to this group and we really appreciated how dirt was able to meet those criteria. The removable skins of the wall really allowed for future damage to be mitigated, and then the top acoustical performance was really helpful. I don't think we could have done demountable walls in this building if we couldn't have accomplished those two things. It's easy enough to take the dirt walls down and reassemble them in a different way, but when you have a plug-and-play system, that makes it just that much easier. You don't have to have rewiring, repiping. It's plug-and-play. You don't have, you're not throwing stuff away. You're reusing what you have. In each of the classrooms in the building, there's at least one wall that's made out of whiteboard. Um, everybody wanted a whiteboard hung in their classroom, but hanging a whiteboard isn't a good option. But DIRT has the option of whiteboard panels. About a year ago, we put in four classrooms at another site, that, and we needed to have the flexibility to take that space apart and use it differently, so we put in dirt classrooms. And one of the comments from the staff there the first day of school was it's the best classroom they've ever had. I've noticed a difference in my happiness. Uh, I've noticed that the kids seem to, when you give the kids um, more allowances to uh, utilize the boards for their purposes. They seem a little bit more excited about coming in and doing things as opposed to sitting at the desk and listening to me or doing worksheets. For them, um, it was like, wow, this is kind of cool. This is new. This is different. And it was invigorating for us as staff to be able to present education in a brand new space that looked a little bit different, that um, made school look different. The stuff showed up when it was supposed to be here and it was staggered out over time so you know we didn't get a mile of the stuff at one time that we had to store places so that that worked out really well we didn't have to we didn't have to juggle and move around um, and that's material handling is one of the big parts of the job we had big open spaces we didn't have to worry about you know all the drywall and all the the stuff going in and we could get all our stuff done and move out and then when they came in and, and we're out of the way it makes it easier but it was interesting watching it pop up that fast so we can't get dry all up that fast, so it's kind of nice. We took that same modular construction to all the other building elements that were included in the interior. The fact that the system could so easily accommodate those made our jobs really easier. We didn't have to stop and think about how we were going to hang things. We were able to say, this is what we need to do, and the system said yes. The user groups could not have pictured what they were looking at. They couldn't have understood how we were, you know, suggesting the room layouts. They, they didn't know how to answer the questions that we had without looking at the 3D views. It was really nothing to them on a, on a 2D floor plan. I was shown ICE software and we used that to help people understand what the building would look like. Uh, obviously they're not used to building buildings, they're educators but using the ICE software really helped them get a mental picture of what they were going to get. So we really turned over to the owner, I think, a very turnkey space. So the, the walls are interchangeable, the components are interchangeable. You know, they really couldn't be happier with the result. This is a Sun classroom, students with unique needs. It's about 700 square feet. These students sometimes need a small space. So they have an 8 by 8 room that we could easily build with the dirt system with a barn door so that we don't have swinging and slamming doors. Also in these rooms we have LED lighting that we can change the colors on. It's a soothing, calming way to help these students cope with their daily issues. People that have been through here are really thrilled. They are really excited and that doesn't always happen in a new building.
The education system that's in the state and the way the buildings were designed are the same way they've been designed for decades and decades and decades, and it doesn't make sense because you're not driving the same car you were in the 60s. Nobody has the same computer they had five years ago. Why should we build buildings the same? I think you'll see as taxpayers again and other school districts that the operating cost of this building will be much lower than a typical building this size. Our students receive from our constructing this building a message of hope, a message that they are in a safe and caring community, and a message that they too can have a successful future. We have found a place that's absolutely wonderful and embracing and can, can meet our needs. So can't thank you enough for this wonderful tribute to these children. I'm used to seeing it every day, but bring somebody through that hasn't seen it and they're literally speechless. In a sense, it's reinventing education. We're meeting the students' needs instead of the students having to fit the building. <laughs>